Hello everybody and welcome to the first lesson on electrostatic field shapes. I have opened in front of you the notes that I gave you uh, on paper in class two weeks ago and uh, this is uh, one point electrostatics and fields dot notebook. The shape of electric fields. Now here we have on page seven of those notes the six shapes of electric fields. So if you forgot what the shapes look like, we're going to go through all of these right now. Okay. Number one, the first shape that you need to know about is the positive point source. The positive point source charge is defined in direction by this very special charge right here called the test charge. A positive test charge will be repelled or pushed away from a positive source. So the shape of all monopole charges is like this picture here for positive and this one here for negative. But the difference is the arrows will point in different ways. So the test charge, which I have right here, is the test of the direction that the field pushes and therefore accelerates this little charge either towards or away from the source. So the strength of that field gets weaker by 1 over r squared. So this is the Coulomb's force formula. And for those of you who want to find that on the reference table, here's the reference table. You're going to go all the way to page 4 and it's formula E1. The Coulomb law, which is the force between charges. So a monopole, whether positive or negative, will get weaker in its electric field intensity and therefore its ability to accelerate a charge and push it the further away you get. So the test charge, this is like Newton's apple when you're dealing with masses. So this is little Newton's charge. The arrows on the field line are moving away from each other. There's more space away from each arrow's line as you get towards this potential circle. So that indicates visually that your electric field is getting weaker or less intense. In the case of a positive source, the <clears throat> positive test charge repelled or pushed away. The law of charges states very simply that opposites attract and similar repel. All right, so here we go. Negative point source. Now when we bring a positive near a negative, we have something called an electric dipole. And I call this the electric watermelon. You might recall in class I said that. So this test charge right here, when placed anywhere on this field, will actually follow the lines of the curve being pushed away from the positive and drawn towards the negative. So I use the nickname watermelon because uh, I think it's easy to remember an electric watermelon as opposed to say the starfish. Remember I had the hand open like this. So a monopole push away when it's positive capture capture when it's negative and then of course you have the electric watermelon like this now if i brought two positives near each other since the field of each positive pushes the test charge away from the center when you place a test charge anywhere in between these two sources you will see that the test charge will flow or follow these field lines. There is only one technical spot right there in the middle that allows the test charge to hover. It's a very tender balance and any variation of the field would send it accelerating away from both sources. Um, I use this symbol with my hands, right? So you can see the two charges. Now, unfortunately, I have to use the same symbol for the negatives, but I grab both, meaning that it pulls the, the positive test charge towards the center 
of each of either one of these two uh, sources, depending on which one it's closer to. So a positive test charge will follow the field lines and be pulled towards either negative source, but it really will go towards the one that it's closer to. And then finally, uh, number six, the parallel plates. Uh, this, I did a symbol like this, and I call that the electric cookie. And the filling in the middle between the two plates is the electric field. I mentioned in class uh, several times that this unique shape is the condition by which the electric field is uniform between the plates. Uniform means the same strength from A to B. Now, what is non-uniform? Let's just go back to this picture or this one or any of these pictures. If the field lines are spreading apart as you move away from the source, that is non-uniform. Non-uniform because the force is not the same strength as you move away or closer. Now, let's go back to the electric field for a moment of the parallel plate. Here it is. So this situation here is very similar to when we say that the Earth accelerates Newton's apple or any mass towards it at a rate of 9.8 meters per second squared. Uh, it's not until we get far away off the surface of the Earth do we actually detect a decrease in that acceleration rate. And also, as we say, for, say, the space shuttle or a satellite, uh, things are weightless. Things are weightless, meaning that the force of gravitation uh, and the pull of the Earth on that object has decreased significantly. So there is a formula that goes with this. Um, the electric field strength is equal to the potential between the two plates divided by the distance. We're going to get into a deeper discussion on potential and the formulas. But right now, I just wanted to talk about the shapes. All right, so that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.